I'm Jada Knobloch. I'm here at Pig Fest, and today we have 30 kids cooking. I myself have been here for seven years. This is actually my last year, and I'm really excited to see who's going to win and who's going to place. And what are you cooking? I'm going to be cooking steak and chicken. I've also entered in sauce, which most kids do not actually enter in. We have 11 to 15 category, and then I think 7 to 10, or 6 to 10, and we turn in our sauce at 9 o'clock, our steak at 9.30, and our chicken at 10. So you have to turn pro next year? Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not? <laughs> Chicken category, first category up. Uh, we had five boxes to sample. One was disqualified due to uh, not having a minimum of six pieces in the box. So we had four to judge. Uh, they were all okay. Uh, some were obviously better than others. Numbers three and four had a real nice sweetness to them with a little bit of spice. Uh, number one seemed to be overcooked, dry. Uh, number two, just flavor and texture just wasn't there. I agree with Tom. Uh, number one was so-so. It almost seemed like it was boiled. Uh, number two, not so-so. Uh, uh, three and four were pretty good, in my, uh, my opinion. I think we were all in agreement on most of it. I did like the outside of number one. It had a good peppery, lemony type taste to it. And um, I agreed with the sweet for three and four. And um, disappointed in number five. Yeah, the chicken was okay. Uh, we didn't get the last one. So we couldn't judge that one. Uh, the third and fourth entries were successful, the others weren't. Okay, well as usual, uh, this is really interesting, uh, and, and with the selection that we had, number one uh, was okay, uh, number two was really sort of overcooked and uh, dry. Uh, three was uh, much better. It was tender. I had a good taste to it. Um, number four, very similar to number three. Uh, good sauce, good taste, tender. And and number number 
uh, five, uh, we, we were not served, so really have no, no comment on it. But generally, it was a good, good, uh, good uh, product. I thought ribs number one and five had the best tenderness. They both had nice tug when I pulled on it, and they had good solid flavor. I thought rib number three was severely overcooked, oversauced, burned, and just unenjoyable in total. Yeah, I agree on number five. That was uh, the most tender in the group, and also on number three, that one. Uh, had some major problems. It was haphazardly arranged in the box and it was burnt and uh, just not appealing at all. I gave ribs number two and number five perfect scores. I thought they were good in all categories. Uh, number three, the presentation just kind of set me off from the get go. I gave rib number two a perfect score. Uh, the flavor was dead on point, it was exactly how I like it and I gave rib number three the lowest score, and it was uh, due to the haphazard way that they threw it in the box. Two and five for me were spot on. Very tender, nice flavor. Number three, the presentation was horrendous. However, I got fortunate and the piece that I had was very tasty. And number two was uh a wonderful uh, rib, really nice presentation as well as uh, wonderful flavors, forward flavors, pulled off the bone nicely. Um, number one and number three both had uh, some, some little uh, problems with their uh, uh, flavor. Uh, number three had so much cinnamon on it, it was such a forward flavor that it just uh, uh, was overpowering. Um, the, the meat itself was a little overcooked. And on number one, it was so tough, I couldn't even bite into it. And um, uh, it was very, very bland. Well, I had sample number five was juicy. It was uh, flavorful. What was it? Pork. Pork entry. Pork entry, correct. Okay. And uh, we had five samples. Uh, number five was excellent. Um, number one was dry um, and didn't really have too much taste, but uh, those were my two favorites. I like number four. I had the pork. It was number four. I thought it was very flavorful, very juicy, uh, very tender, and I enjoyed number four. Number one was dry and not very flavorful. Number four was really superb. It was moist. It was smoky and it was perfect as far as I'm concerned. Well, I, my worst was number one. Uh, it was dry and it almost tasted like chicken livers. Um, my favorite was number five. It was tasty and uh, had a good texture. Uh, number one was very tough, uh, very poor entry. I'm not sure I would have turned it in if it had been me. Uh, number four was clearly the top. Uh, it was a triple nine. Uh, it was very tender, had excellent flavor, and very good appearance. It was the best one on the contest. Uh, number four was a little dry and a little tough for my taste. And uh, two and three were just about average. We're going to brush with some of that juice. It's not too salty this time at all.
Number one was very tough, very hard to chew into, no flavor, no texture. Um, number two was tender. Um, three, I thought was very salty. Uh, four, I thought it was very tender, uh, pulled apart very easily. I thought that had a good taste. And number five was very dry and very smoky, burnt in. Number one was uh, definitely tough. It was the toughest of the batch. And uh, number two, actually, three, two, three, four, and five weren't weren't bad except they were a little overcooked and five was definitely like roast beef it was a little on the on the softer side and cooked and it was cut way too thick number one you were suspicious from the start because it's cut the size of a micron <laughs> and the piece of burn in was not really a burn in Number two was very tasty. The brisket was tender, but the uh, burn in was um, very too chewy. And number three was wonderful flavors, perfect cook, but it was too salty. Um, number four I thought was tasty, but it was overcooked. And number five was just um, overcooked, but fairly tasty. I'm going to have to pretty much agree with the last person. Number one was way undercooked, very chewy, uh, not very pleasant at all. Uh, number two, the guy would have scored a lot better if he had left his burn end out because it was tough, 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 and just not edible. Uh, three was pretty tasty brisket, uh, not much, not much fault there, uh, but it it was just a tad salty. Uh, number four was uh, pretty much overcooked for me. Uh, there wasn't any tug when you pulled on the brisket at all. Had some nice flavor, but uh, no tug. And the same for number five, nice flavors, but it was even more overcooked than, than number four. So it had to be marked down for that. Number one was tough, very tough, and a little dry. Number two was the flavor that I liked the best, except for the burn-in. It was a little off in flavor. Number three, to me, had an odd flavor to it, and I couldn't figure out what it was. And four and five were both overcooked. You went, I went to pull it out of the box, and it fell apart before I could get it on my placemat. <laughs>